Nabil. How are you, Nabil? Not too bad, not yeah. too bad. Nice good. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, right? you too. Feeling good? <sighs> yeah, and terrible at the same time. <laughs> Good that's and a terrible. Weird, that's yeah. a weird combination, isn't it? Yes, so only a comic would understand. <laughs> and it was Nabil Abdul Rashid from Croydon, South London, and I'm a stand up comedian. Just look, look up there. <laughs> I live with my wife and my two beautiful children. I believe in all of that. <laughs> my daddy is very funny. He is going to get four yeses. <laughs> I wish it was this simple, man. <laughs> I gig anywhere and everywhere. I've done schools, I've done barbershops. I've done a Caribbean old folk song. We spent half an hour just trying to get them to face the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Worked so hard and I had a lot of ups and downs. And there have been times I've almost given up. Oh man, I'm so nervous. So, so nervous. I just want to get a break. It would mean a lot if, if this day went well. It would be something uh, my kid, for my kids to see. They're ready if you are. Yeah. Should we get you on? Come on, Nabil. I just hope I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? Hi, my name's Nabil Abdul Rashid, and I'm from Croydon, South London. How old are you? Uh, I'm 34. 34. Why are you here today? Um, I've spent so much time doing other stuff, but now I want to pursue this. It's going to give me a chance to chase my dream and spend more time with my kids. But you've been harboring a dream, have you? For the oh, whole yes. of your life? Oh, yes. Or a nightmare, depending on how you look at it. I mean. <laughs> well, look, we don't know what you're going to do. We like to be surprised. So, Nabil, take it away. So, Sky and all people, you all right? In case you haven't figured it out, yes, I am a stand-up comic. My name is Nabil Abdul Rashid, and uh, I am a Muslim, which is something... Woo! I'm not going to lie, that's not the reaction I was expecting. I have to announce that I'm Muslim because people never seem to realize I am until it's too late. <laughs> Recently, like, it was my birthday, right? Some of my colleagues found out it was my birthday. One of them was like, yo, fam! It's your birthday, can't say nothing fam, say nothing fam. Man's got you fam, man's got a surprise for you, rude man. I said, why are you talking like that? You're Irish. And he said, <laughs> took me out. Where did he take me? A bar for a cocktail party. I'm like, bruv, you know I don't drink. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you do the Muslim thing, but it's your birthday, rude boy, loosen up. <laughs> it's my birthday, so what next? Hey, Nabil, I know you have a nut allergy, but you see this peanut butter sandwich fam, it's banging, <laughs> loosen up. Because people tell me I don't look like a Nabil Abdul Rashid. Apparently, I look more like a Tyrone. <laughs> or a Marlon, or maybe even a Babatunde, you know, whatever. <laughs> I turned up to a show recently, they wouldn't let me in. I turned up to the group, like, excuse me, you can't be here. This green room is for a Nabil Abdul Shekhabal. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's Abdul Rashid. Yes, that's what I said, Abdul Shishkabal. <laughs> I don't mean to offend you, but has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Muslim? I said, yes, that's because I am a Muslim. He said, okay, well, at least tell me what the name means. I said, the name Nabil Abdul Rashid basically means that my phone calls are monitored. Now. <laughs> The annoying thing about being Muslim in 21st century Britain is you know the MI5 prevent and home office listening on your phone calls, but they don't go halves on the bill. <laughs> they follow you on Twitter, they don't retweet. <laughs> they follow you on Facebook, but they don't poke. Well, not on Facebook, they poke you at the airport. I mean. <laughs> Thank you.
double. Yeah, it just felt right. Congratulations. Well done. Woo! I didn't do that. You did that. Trust me. You're edgy. You're charismatic. And I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. The writing is perfect. The delivery is perfect. I want to say thank you for coming on this show and, and bringing this style of humour because it makes the show grow. I didn't think I was going to do that today, but it just felt right. You are a breath of fresh air. Give me <laughs> well, Neville. Someone had to press the gold brother. I mean, if they didn't, exactly. I would have had to go up there myself. I would have to run down there and press it myself. <laughs> what happened? I got a golden buzzer. Can I give you <laughs> oh my gosh! Can't believe it, man. Oh. It's competition time. For starters, we're